Okay, here we go, as our dear Neil Pickup says. This is my first super match. Uh, the round robin turned into a super match because the other girl had to pull out because of illness. But I'm up against the, the tougher opponent of the two. So this is an exciting challenge for me. So Kaya is actually a little bit taller than me, but I was on the riser because I, I felt like I needed a bit more height. Kaya Knudsen has actually been uh, arm wrestling on an international scale, uh, the Europeans and maybe even the worlds uh, during uh, as a junior and has won medals so she's no uh, easy pick. And here I am struggling with the setup, I can feel her hand is like a vice. Uh, I've actually hardly experienced something like this before, even the guys at my club don't grip on like this. Um, I know I have a tough hand but... Uh, I already there felt like I was going to struggle with her big time, certainly on the left, so let's see how it goes. And this is my first experience of contending with referees, and uh, this is a funny situation because they're like above or below, but they didn't say whether they meant the hand or the thumb was above, so I got confused. Okay, she's got a very strong hand, which is cool. Um, so I don't think I've got anything for her on, on the left, but uh, we'll see, you can always try something new next time. Yeah, it was really hard to, to, to think on the spot, so this is a new thing for me, is to, to be in a competitive situation where you have a few seconds to prove yourself and, and there's this ready-go thing, that's new to me. And there I'm just saying, I can't see my knuckle. And he's like, yeah, I can see your knuckle. And I'm like, uh, I'm going to get her higher up here. Uh, she's going to be that high. I'm going to go a bit higher. I wasn't comfortable. And of course, you know, because I haven't got experience from ready goes and competition, I um, could possibly have been giving a bit more than, than uh, I was knowledgeable about. But, you know, she did really have a, a tough hand and wrist, so... <laughs> okay, so I guess it's first of five and I've lost the first two and I just uh, might try and do something different in the third, but yeah, it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> so I'm down 2-0 and I'm thinking I'll try something different this time. And you know, if I if I had tried to slip, I wonder if that would have been an advantage since her hand and wrist were so strong. But you know, thinking on the spot's a new thing for me. <laughs> Arm wrist and wrist. So I did try and jump in and take it a bit more in the bicep, and it gave me a little pause. You know, I was able to sort of stop it for a short while, but she was really good at getting out on my fingers with her hand. So that's something I need to learn to be better at doing. Shoulders, shoulders. So there I also managed to stop her for a short while, but I didn't know what to do with that stop. So it's again the learning curve. So she's now 4 0 up. She won at 3 0, but we just took the, the last um, round. It's a good experience for me, why not? So yeah, now I'm really going to try and get a bit higher up on, up on her hand. Oh, and I realised how treacherous a referee's grip is, especially during the right hand matches, but more about that in a minute. So again, I just managed to stop her a bit, but wasn't experienced enough to know how to deal with that, but she was a worthy winner. That was my first arm wrestling competition attempt, and uh, she was strong, cool. Feels okay, feels okay to lose to her. She's good. <laughs> yeah, these guys are cool and supportive. This is uh, the girl who just gave me um, tasting on the left, and your name is Kaya Knudsen. Kaya Knudsen. Yeah. <laughs> and she's super strong on left. When we take the right hand super match, <laughs> I'm hoping to be able to do a little bit more. 
but she so deserved that that win very strong hand and wrist um, I was like okay what do you do with this <laughs> Okay, so this is the right hand. hoping for the best. I had a little pep talk with one of the guys there. He was giving me some instructions and reminded me to really get a hold of that grip, except for when it was in the, a referee's grip, which seemed to come rather fast in this first round. Okay, so if you look at my arm, I feel like my arm is already bent backwards and she's forward. So I'm kind of fighting a bit from a bad position, but I started to get an advantage and then I was like no I don't want to let go of a hand look I've, I've got an advantage I've got the fingers and then I just jumped a little bit with my elbow I think um, shot forward and sort of just jumped a bit but this was promising So see already there I'm bent back and I was like I'm gonna have to get out of this quick slip slip so I was glad glad I had a bit of a, a overview to, to, to do that so you can see here already there she's on top of me and my arms bent back it's like what's going on <laughs> I mean there's no way when I'm actually more dominant on the right I wouldn't have ended up in that position without there being this um, disadvantage in the setup. Again, it's learning also about my responsibility in the setup to get what I want because you can't always rely on the on the referees giving you it, even if you complain. In fact, they can find you obnoxious and give you fouls for that, which is annoying. So now I'm in a strap and I'm not very experienced in the strap. He asked me if I wanted to be high or low with the strap on the wrist, but for some reason it just jumped up and it because I asked for a low one and I ended up being high anyway. But see, I seem to be able to... I've got a flat wrist or a slightly bent back wrist, so does she. And um, did she get... Hey, see that dog? That dog's barking every time somebody wins. So obviously I had enough clapping going on for my, my victory that the dog barked. So that's a good sign. <laughs> Kaya. Kaya obviously has a bit of support. Come on. Come on. The ladies say, stay there, stay there, stay there. You've got it, you've got it. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but so can I. And see here, I'm pretty sure I've got her down there. It took ages. I was like, flipping heck, how long do I have to stand here? As you can see here, it's quite a long time that I'm just hovering at the pad. So I had to actually have her right down to touch with the third knuckle, I think it was, or at least the second knuckle before it was accepted as being a, yeah, I was, he apologised afterwards. So it's always something. Another barking from the dog. So this is the fourth round. I'm a little bit outside my shoulder, which is bad style, but you know, oh, it was a win. Oh, 
I think he's rather fast going to the referee's grip unless uh, some of the film got lost. Uh, so, treacherous referee's grip. So, Kai has been told to have the same plan. So, here we go. So, she's sort of in a better position than last time right so there i was called on an elbow foul but honestly i felt the pad under me the whole time so either it's because i have some long elbow hairs that were making contact or i was wrongly elbow fouled and i know it's a tough job being a, a referee so so this is where i experienced the the woes of the referee's grip I was again feeling like I was starting with my arm in a vertical while hers was in a diagonal um, and so I tried to just edge it into the center and got fouled out for it. You who? I have to say this guy would be a good referee for Devon Larratt but not for me. In hindsight it might have helped if I had just complained and said look my arm is not in the right position it's a, in negative but I think he was just uh, frustrated with me and that was a very very quick foul but it was a good experience it wasn't my best arm wrestling I was just using brute force in in the right-handed match but um, it worked for top touching so maybe it works for me too and uh, after this match I had a after pool with Nana who is a European champion in her weight class and she gave me some tips on how I could uh, keep better pressure so she said I had a lot of side pressure for my size so that was a good thing and she just said you have to be able to continue to put that pressure on that's why she's teaching me to stay above my arm and not go too low because I'm stronger in that position but more about that in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this and remember to support my channel if you want to see more stuff because at the moment it's stagnated and um, yeah I, I would really feel encouraged if you guys wanted to support me thank you and see you later